Anyway, anyway, like I said, top scientists were, were working on this new advanced technology. All right, here we go. So, there we go. Quick save just in case. And then we get bend will. And notice we have the cooldown. That fucking sucks. Only way to get rid of that? Spend some fucking time, baby. The power that every prisoner bound by prophecy has. The ability to advance time forward very rapidly. And look, Odaving should materialize. Well, this isn't good. <laughs>When we had last left the last dragonborn, they had finally fulfilled all of the requisite steps in uncovering and solving and resolving and finishing the destruction ritual spell. It led them to find some cool new power that they would probably never use again, but it was cool to have it nonetheless. And it also left them with a very cryptic message from none other than Shalador themselves from long ago. And also in doing those discoveries and researches and adventures, did they also find a set of the fabled Crusader's armor, oh, as seen in the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, <laughs> Knights of the Nine DLC, and they thought about perhaps doing that as well. But also, finally, did they get around to delivering a couple pieces of ore to a weird cave kind of in the middle of nowhere, where they uncovered a really nice hammer that they brought back to here, to Lakeview, to display. This is the Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim. Anniversary edition. Welcome back. Joop. <laughs> there we go. Also, uh, apologies. If you're watching these as they're coming out, you will have noted. If you watched uh, Morrowind Mondays, you or follow me on Twitter, you will know already what I'm about to say. But, hey, may as well reiterate, just for, um, oh, <laughs> what's the fucking word? Just for posterity's sake, I guess. Uh, got pretty sick on the weekend after going to see The Batman at a movie theater, right? <laughs> really enjoyed the movie, uh, but got quite sick afterward a few hours later. And at first I thought it was like finally COVID catching up with me or whatever. But no, took a test and everything and totally in the clear. But led me to believe, hey, maybe some sort of like thing in the popcorn that I ate. Because I thought back to the last time I got like <laughs> fairly fucking sick in the same way. And it was when I came back from seeing another popcorn movie where I did get movie theater popcorn. And it was fucking Avengers Endgame, right? I got sick in a very similar way after that. But, uh... So maybe that, maybe I'm like, something in that popcorn fucks me up. Maybe there was like some like horrible viral agent or whatever inside of it. I don't know, but we're on the up and up. I feel like I'm, I'm pretty, I'm getting pretty close to back to normal. Honestly, I can even hear it in my voice compared to Morrowind Mondays. We'll probably still take it a little bit easy with this recording of Skyrim, probably go a little bit shorter, but nonetheless, that's the status update. That's the the situation report, the sit rep. Also, we're here instead of in the little cave in the middle of nowhere, because like I said, we deposited a few fucking cool things here, right? I put Nerve Shatter up. And you know what? I'm getting more and more sold on putting two-handers on these, right? I'm getting more and more sold on the idea that just two-handers look good as well, you know? Maybe all I needed was like a change in perspective or something. But also, in here, we've done some decoration. Well, not really. I've done some planting. I planted a whole bunch of mushrooms. It's probably really hard to see, because even... Oh, no. Look, my little dudes fell over. Is there, like, a quick console command I can use to, like, toggle off the physics on a specific item? Or is that, like, only with mod functionality? I want to say there was something like that in Fallout 4, where you could, like, I don't know, toggle AI on an object in the world and it would just be lodged there forever. Is there a way you can do that in Skyrim? I don't know. But uh, nonetheless, I did a little bit of decorating with these bugs. We got them here looking good, looking fancy. 
and planted shroomages in, I believe, every single planting pot available. So looking forward to the shroom zone blossoming in a major way. Now, also over here, of course, we are at Lakeview, as a reminder. I went and stowed away a few things. Look, we've got some of the Dark Seducer armor going on. I moved this around. I set up the OG Crusader set in there, and I put the alternative set of the, like, light armor version in here, because, you know, for me, it doesn't evoke the same amount of nostalgia as this. So, hey, we got this one on display. Oh, look, this one is, like, coming alive. Cool. <laughs> All right. Now, what else? Is there something? Oh, yes, in the cellar. Check this shit out, right? I also built up a few things in here. We finally got some of these going on. Activate some of that. Why not? Like, it's free, I think, I hope. There we are. Good. Got, like, well, I don't know about half, but we got a few of them ready and raring to go. Uh, over here, did we do anything? No, we didn't do anything over here, but check this out. I finally built up, not fully, I'm not sure, well, maybe, but a little bit of the fishing aquarium. Look at this. Look, we can put little fishes inside of here. Look, you can put three more fish in this tank. When I did it the first time, there was like a little prompt that appeared. Look, there's like driftwood inside. I somehow got like fishing supplies. Is this, that's what it said when I was building it, which I guess means like when you're building fishing supplies, it means you're like, I don't know, eggs and barnacles are also fishing supplies. I don't know what that means, but I love it. And look, you got like a little fun sailing ship down there. It's like a little schooner or something. Look at that. There's like little clamulons. Oh, it's, it's lovely. It's beautiful. And there's also like fishing plaques up here. So we can like mount a fish or whatever. Which, mounted fish are super duper way more like not going to freak me out compared to like the head of a mammal <laughs> or an avian creature. I don't know. Something about being just a regular looking fish does not freak me out. I think it's probably because of the singing bass fish. You know what I'm talking about? I think that's that's a big reason why it doesn't freak me out. And I think it's more comical than anything. It would be amazing if one of them did actually sing to us, right? Okay, let's go on up. I mean, shit, you got like a talking dog in this game. Why not have a singing fish, right? Why the fuck not? I'm sure there has got to be like a Billy the Bass fish mod for this game. If there isn't, what's going on? <laughs> All right. I think that's everything, right? I think so. Now, let me make sure I'm, like, properly equipped and everything, because I did take out my smithing stuff to, like, uh, smith up some more shit. Right? Get our... our inventory laced with some more jewelry to enchant later once we come into an enchanting table, because I actually don't have one here yet. I'm missing, like, some moonstone ingot or whatever to build the actual table. All right, now let's head on out. And where should we go to? Part of me, like I said, is tempted to hit up the Knights of the Nine shit right away. But also I kind of would, I kind of think it might be fortuitous to, and fun to get started right away on the companions, right? Oh, also I figured out a fun, cool trick for being able to, and maybe someone even wrote in about this a while back, but I misunderstood what they were saying, or I just like glanced over and just didn't fucking fully internalize what they meant. But we can fly on Odeving now. That's how I was able to like move and haul all this shit with relative ease. There is a very easy way, once you have Bend Will and Call Dragon, to fly on fucking Odeving. You can easily do it, and Odeving even has like. Well, I don't know if it's... I don't know. I'm tempted to say Odeving has, like, their own. You know what? I was about to take the horse, but fuck it. Let's let's call for Odeving right now. I'm too fucking excited. All right. Let's go on over to... Where should... Oh, look. There's a shrine right here. Maybe we hit that up real quick. Okay. We'll go hit up this shrine real fast. And then we'll go over to Whiterun and finally begin the fucking companions. Right. Okay. 
It should be, yeah, our biggest marker right there. Good, good, good. Let's head on over this way. Prior Mabel to me. Ho oh, there. Good stuff. Man, yeah, I gotta say, like, um... I'm, I feel like <laughs> I sound a lot better. Like, I noticed in when I was recording Morrow and Mondays, like, higher highs and lower lows when I would speak were a little bit more, I don't know, raspy, wheezy, airy. I don't know how you would describe it. And it didn't really come through too well in the recording, so it just sounded like I was talking. Oh my god. Jeez. This is right nearby where we fucking live? Our house is on the other side of this murder zone. Oh my God. What the fuck? People are gonna think that we did it, that we're like somehow working with the Thalmor. These were just some fucking Talos worshipers out here, huh? Oh my God. There's like, look at the fucking body count here. It's like four or five people. Holy shit. Good lord, like half of them I think even completely unarmed? I don't know. Well, I guess, you know, with wizards. I guess you can't be too sure, but still, they weren't dressed for battle. Okay. Let's grab this money. <laughs> you know what? It's already a mess. It's already a mess. Why not, you know, why not desanctify it just a little bit further? We'll take the money. Anything else hidden around? I don't think so. Nah, I don't think so. Alright. Here we are. Good. And you know what? Maybe these are new shrines that get added in by this, um, by this creation club stuff. Right? Maybe these are new ones and they weren't here previously. I would believe that. Because notice as well, the, um, well, I don't know. Because look at this path. I mean, I guess it's totally possible they could have just made this little path here. Right? That's totally possible. I have no idea. It's it's impossible for me to tell if this was here already. Right? You'd think surely we would have noticed, but how many times have we gone over this specific section? Right? Jeez, and little did we know there was like horrible murder going on over here. Alright, well... Anyway, enough of that. It's time to look at our cool and amazing little fun trick, right? Let's see. Let me do a quick save in case I mess it up. Oh, look. Actually, who's this up here? Holy shit, I'm getting Skyrimmed right now. Let's see, what is this? Are you chill? Oh, you don't seem like you're very you chill. A bad time to get lost. Wow, what if it was them who killed the people who were at the, the shrine? What if it actually wasn't the Thalmor this time? It was just bandits. Treasure map one. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Oh, I think... Yeah, we know of this one. I may have even been there. I can't remember. Yeah, that's Riverwood. And... The cross is sort of over... Or I guess the X on the map is sort of over by... The old crone's hut or shack or whatever. Her weird little den of iniquity. Damn, was it just this person here? Just a single bandit at the camp? I guess so. Take some money. Anything in the satchel? Oh, look. There are actually other people over there. They, they just watched it happen. I guess, you know what, they didn't want any after we basically two-shot their friend. Look at him. Get out of there! Oh, shit. There goes Rallus. <laughs> okay. Some mage robes and everything. You know what, let's go chase him down, too. Actually, should we take this... Yeah, I'm taking the fish. There we go. Do I have a black soul gem? Let's find out. Nope. Alright. What have you got? Anything good? One pick. Okay. Grab some shroomages just as well. Fantastic. Okay. 
now is the time to unveil our little surprise and trick. Look, this is a great and fun trick that you too, that folks, you at home, you can enjoy this fun and wonderful boon just as well. If you were perhaps a little too dumb to figure it out just like I was, finally, I, the it's here. The technology has arrived. The people, I had, I had top scientists working on this on the clock, over the clock. They were overclocked and they were working it on, working it out, working on it, working it down. And this is, oh shit, okay, it's Rallis. <laughs> and, <laughs> and this is it. Let's see. So all you do, you get a call dragon here. Let's see. There we go. And I had gotten a, a comment a while back from someone, like I, like I said, um, remarking this. I was just thinking about it as I was like hauling stuff off. I was like, surely there's got to be a fucking way. Right? I was like, I don't really fucking understand what's going on here. So, anyway, anyway, like I said, top scientists were, were working on this new advanced technology. All right, here we go. So, there we go. Quick save just in case. And then we get bend will. And notice we have the cooldown. That fucking sucks. Only way to get rid of that? Spend some fucking time, baby. The power that every prisoner bound by prophecy has. The ability to advance time forward very rapidly. And look, Odaving should materialize. Well, this isn't good. <laughs> all right, all right. We got we got we got to do it. We're going to do it again. We're going to do it again. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. Odaving. There we go. We'll wait for Odaving to appear. Odaving, you motherfucker, you better show up. Have I broken Odaving? Where is this dude at? <laughs> What's going on? Hang on. <laughs> Nothing? Oh, a bing! Odaving, hear my call! <laughs> oh my god! Rallis, I'm so fucked up! Rallis, I thought it would fucking work. I swear it worked before! I swear that shit worked before! <laughs> oh my god! What the fuck? Odaving, no! When the world happened? Is that Odaving? No, that's like a fucking bird. Alright, fine. We're taking the... We're taking the fucking carriage. <laughs> Alright, the success... We haven't worked out the kinks just yet. The success rate, it's... It's, you know, 90%. 90%, 90% of the time, it's going to work like a charm. The other 10%, it's like pickpocketing, you know? You win some, you lose some. <laughs> I cannot believe that. All right. Let's get out of here. Let's Where do you want to go? Go over to Whiterun, if you will. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Okay, good. Oh, I was so excited to show it off as well. I was so fucking excited to show it off. <laughs> what the fuck? Try to rest before embarking on a long adventure. Okay. Let's see. Let's head on out over here. Good. Should we check out uh, the caravan? See if they got anything new cooking up? Hey. Kajita's wares. Let's Take see him. Look. All right. Do you have anything of interest? Or of wonderment? Hmm. I don't think so. Fishing map Solstheim? I'll take it. We may already have it, but it's so cheap, you know. Should we buy all this other weird shit? Hell yes, I think we should. Especially the scrib jelly. Ooh, look at how, like, cool it looks now. 
part of it does look disgusting, but part of it also does actually look like a kind of jam. If it weren't for the little, like, darkened indentation in the center, it would look like some kind of sweet, delightful treat. I'm gonna take- yeah, I'm gonna fucking buy all of these. Can we grow our own steel blue entoloma? Can I plant so- can we grow moonsh- I mean, this is like- this is like the fruit of it, right? So you can't actually grow like moon sugar cane. Oh shit, I just bought some weird fucking thing. Some kind of fucked up poison that I sold long ago. Let's see. Can I... <laughs> I- I don't want it. Please. <laughs> oh god, I'm incompetent. Uh... There we go. Got rid of it. Problem solved. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Oh, you know what? Do you sell any of the... No, you don't. See, remember they would sell sometimes the, uh, the new, like, hand-to-hand -hand fighting thing? Lead you to warm we should get that for fucking... For the... The guild, for the, the companions. We need to make some. How do we get some of that? We need to get some of that shit. Hell yes. Where did we find some of that? We found out, like, Solitude or whatever, right? Fuck yeah, we did. Oh my gosh, do you think the shops are still open? It's 7-Eleven. They might be. I don't know, though. I know that the Khajiiti caravan out by way of Solitude definitely had them in stock last time we were there. I'm willing to, like... I'm willing to fucking go and do it. That way we have them for the companions? How fucking cool would that be? Right? We do some, like, fist... It's perfect for the companions as well. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Why wouldn't we do it? Let, we have to fucking do it. Look, we're just having non-stop great ideas, and you know what? So far, one of them hasn't worked out, at least on camera. I promise it worked out <laughs> in between videos when I was, like, moving... It worked multiple times, right? <laughs> but And I promise this, too, will work. This, too, will work. Let's see. Let's go over to Solitude. Climbing back and we'll be off. Let's see. Nice weather Watch us go up. We should have quick saved just in case. <laughs> what if they don't have it? What if they're not what if they cycled their stock already? I don't know yeah. the last time we were here. <laughs> like we could make it, but our our smithing is back down at like fifty nine or sixty or something. Okay. Where's the caravan at? Up this way. Good. Nah! All right. Yo, the can I get some of those gauntlets of fisting? Take a look. Let's see. Are they weapons or are they actually armor? Fuck! You don't have them. You don't have them anymore. No fucking way! You don't have them anymore. Oh fuck! Wasn't it them out here who had them? Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. Hang on, let's go check up this way. I'm gonna eat some salmon as well. We can check the smithy up here. They may have some here as well. We'll do a quick look. <laughs> Fucking A. All right. Otherwise, I guess we just roll all the way back to, <laughs> to White Run, huh? Okay. Over here. Good. What time of day is it? 819. Isn't this guy the smith? Yorn? I'm not sure. Let's go on up here. Good. There you are. Alright, are you selling some of the new hand-to-hand -hand things? The gods watch over your battle. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Let's see. No. You don't have any of them. All right, what? Which ones Whether can we fucking make? Arms or armor. It I is armor, isn't it? Yeah, look, brawlers, some shit. Okay. Oh, cool. All right. Well, how many extra points do I have that I can like pump into smithing to get some like cool gauntlets or whatever the fuck? Let's see, smithing. There we go. Steel. Which direction do we want? What, what do you think will have cool shit? Ebony, maybe? I don't know. Oh, do you, are there like... Oh, fuck, I don't know. Scaled could be cool as well. 
I don't know. Scaled could be very cool. Oh, shit. How many points have we got? We got 14. We got 14. I'm willing to burn them. I'm willing to burn this shit. What's our smithing at? 59? Hell yes. Let's just burn them all. Let's just... Let's just see as much as we can. Why wouldn't we? Oh, fuck. Alright. Good. Okay. Now what can we fix up here? Let's see. Brawl. Okay. Oh shit, yeah, the Assassin's Creed looking shit, huh? I've got weapons forgiven and armor forgotten. Hmm. It doesn't say what kind of a buff it affords though, does it? Man, look at that. The Dwemer ones look really fucking wild though. It's gotta be said. I kind of appreciate the simplicity of the leather ones though. I kind of appreciate and enjoy that. Yeah, maybe we'll settle for the leather ones for now. I think that's a good idea. Seems All right. there's no end to looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. Let's see over here, leather. Oh, I should also buy some like moonstone. There we go. I'll buy some ebony as well. Now, how much of this was it? It was like two and what? Four? I don't know. Well, better to get extra hey, than get too few. Wear your armor. Okay. Animal collar. Huh. Okay, and which one do I want? Oh, what are these? Scout gauntlets. What? Huh. Scout boots. Is there like a a scout's jerkin? <laughs> Hang on. Let's see. Scout. Yeah, there is. Oh wow, look at that. Wow, it looks good. Oh shit, it looks very good. Holy hell, yeah, the the leather scout armor. Wow, looks fantastic. Okay. Hmm. Orcish scaled gauntlets. Oh, that's the light armor version. Gotcha. I've got weapons for getting okay. and armor for getting. So let's look at. Oops. Nope. I don't want to make that. I want these brawlers bracers. For whatever good they will do us. Oh look, Redder and Watchman's helm. Holy shit! <gasps> wow. It's just like the real fucking deal, baby. Hang on. Oh, okay, we only <laughs> there's only one one thing there. All right, it's light armor though, huh? Holy shit, I love that! Wow, man, should we get that? Like, I don't know the our current hat is just so good, you know? Oh fuck yeah, right, of course. This was like the poster child for the anniversary edition. The Enderil armor. And this time you can wear it without getting arrested, huh? <laughs> ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. All right, anything else over here? <laughs> Is there more Enderil armor? Oh yeah, look at all that. Wow, 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 wow. Holy hell. I do appreciate the, um, the bone mold more. Like, I think Bone Mold is my favorite still. But, maybe we should consider this, right? And it looks like the textures are a little bit more HD-ified, if that makes sense. And also at the same time, like, my backstory for my character, my, like, headcanon was that my character was, like, either an, an ex-ordinator or an ex-buoyant armager, right? So, it could work out pretty well. Okay. Holy shit. Fuck me. Oh wait, I should probably improve it, shouldn't I? Do you think that increases the damage of it? I don't know how it works, whatsoever. Okay. Gordon, you've got my smithing clothes, I think. Unless they're still on me. 
There we are. Good. Great. What are you doing that for? What? What are you talking about? That's my that's that's Gordon. <laughs> How are you getting those items out of that crab? <laughs> what is this sorcery? <laughs> okay, let's see. Sort by name. Good. Oh, beautiful. Fuck yes. Okay. There we go. Oh, it's flawless. Oh, yes. Granted, it is light armor, but fuck it. We're like, you know, we're so overpowered right now. We can take the hit. Okay. And then, let's get these fucking babies out. Hell yes. Alright. Also, we need to unequip our shit. There we are. Oh, look, we're ready to fucking rumble. Oh, wow. There's like some extra shit in there. Are they like weighted? Look at that. We, we're like packing some extra like rocks in there. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, cool. Cool. Look at that. Great. Wanderer like you must have okay. plenty of tales to tell. Let's get on out of here. I'm afraid I'm too busy to hear. Get some food instead. Good. Oh, we should put our ship back onto Gordon before I forget. Okay. All right. Gordon, ho there. I need you to carry some junk. And let's do this. Name. Artisans. Dump that back there. Yes, 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 yes. All right, now we're fucking ready for the companions. Hell yes. And we can, like, even... We can kind of, like, upgrade our shit, too. We can get new versions of this. We can, like, get new ones. New kinds. How cool. Oh, it's perfect. All right. Good. Let's go on out. Very Wait, good. I oh, know shit. Uh-oh. I think... Is it just the, like, core game armor sets that have the brawlers versions? I would assume. Right? That, that would make the most sense to me. Let's head on out of here. There we are. Like, I shouldn't expect... Indoril brawlers. <laughs> fucking... <laughs> fucking armor or whatever, right? Need a ride? I can take you to any of the hold capital. Where do you want to go? Send me to Whiterun. <laughs> Climb and back and we'll be off. Thank you. It's almost getting downright hot. There we are. Good stuff. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, man. I just... <laughs> I just had a great idea with these fucking gauntlets. Okay. It'll be a while, though. It'll be a while. Hopefully I remember. <laughs> I need to... I need to write that down in my notebook or something. It'll, it'll pay off. <laughs> I just had a really funny idea. Okay. All right. Let's get out of here. Let's head on. We'll, we'll rest in Breeze home for a bit. Right? We'll do it. We'll take a quick snooze because we're getting quite sleepy. I'm not even sure, like, how the fuck you begin the Companion's Quest after what point we're in. Like, I think we went in there and witnessed the, the fist fight, didn't we? I think we did. Alright, in here. Just wiggle the door a little bit. Get it unstuck. Okay. Up inside of this. Over here to the lovely Breeze home. Good. And see, now that I have this new method of, like, hauling around items, it'll be easy to hit up all of our bases of operation, like, easily spread out shit. Okay, let's go for... 10 hours. Oh shit, I fucked it up. <laughs> well, what can you do? Alright. There we are. Good. Alright, do we have any other more peculiar food that we can eat? Oh dear lord, how about... Horker stew? No, that seems kind of good. Pheasant roast? What? What's, what's way the most right now? What's weighing us down? Mammoth cheese bowl. Hell yes, I'm eating that. Regular potato soup? Hell yes. Charred skeever meat? I am satisfied. Let's do one more. Well fed. There we are. Okay. Good, good, good. Now, it should be heavy armor, though, shouldn't it? Because heavy armor has the implicit, like, um... What is it? Isn't there, like, a perk in heavy armor where it's, like... 
Yeah, if you have high armor on your hand to hand or something. On your hand slots, you'll do more damage or whatever. There it is. Fists of Steel. Yeah, unarmed attacks with heavy armor gauntlets do extra damage. So we do want to be on the lookout for, like, a heavy armor set or consider making that. Right. Actually, are they open for business? It's 9.25 a.m. They should be. We'll do a quick peek. All right. We've got small weapons as well as I'll big. invest in your Excellent. store. I think you'll be glad that you made this decision. Yeah, let's see what you can Thank do. Thank you. I'll be sure to put it to good use. What have you got? Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Let's see. You got any of these fun new gauntlets? Man, we really should have just bought them up when we first saw them because they are just... They're flying off the shelves. People in Skyrim, they are just too keen on, like, fist fighting one another. <laughs> okay. Take all that. Should we take some silver refined malachite as well? Yeah, why not? All right. We're doing business with you. Okay. Good. Fantastic. All right. Now let's head on out over this way. There we are. And back and around here. And like I've said before in the past, the companions have always been like one of my last two, if not the last sort of faction that I ever interacted with. Okay. You have a scar. Okay, the fighting is... is not going on. Okay, good. Hey, everyone. This is Skewer. a place for warriors, New Blood. What brings you here? I'm gonna become the coolest warrior around. You again. Hey, who who are you? The companions? Who who are they? Who who are you? <laughs> Ask any fool around here and get a different answer. Mercenaries, warriors of honor, brothers and sisters of the blade, drunken rabble. Take your pick. I've been here longer than most of them. Even I don't know sometimes. I just hope they don't kill each other. Where do you stand on the war? None of our business. There's no honor to be had in the squabbling of Yarls. I mean it's it's a pretty big deal. Why did you join the Companions? I learned the ways of the Blade in the Great War. Nearly lost my life outside the Imperial City. I came home to Skyrim when it was all over, but I wasn't much I good at anything other than fighting. About you Wandered around as a Blade for hire. It's a ears, damned good one, too. The money was Is good, and the women were good, it's not and the exactly drinks were good. But, but I was losing myself, true. my heart. So that's that. I was lucky the Companions found me. Now there's a reason to be fighting. The honor of my brothers and sisters is worth more than coin. Of course the money is still good. And the drinks. Wow, he didn't say anything about the women, though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess he. I guess he's not banging his own sisters, even if they are sisters in blades, or whatever he said. <laughs> Alright. Can I join the companions, or do we want to talk to other people first before we, like, try to sign up? I'll take my leave then. Yeah, because there might be like different dialogue depending on your status. If you wish with to them. hunt with me, your feet need to be quick and your eyes quicker. Isgrimor himself wouldn't have the patience to deal with all the rabble around here. Hmm. It is interesting that you can ask the companions about where they stand on the war. Like, I'm pretty sure with the College of Winterhold, you couldn't do the same. At least, definitely not with like seemingly every important member or literally every member, right? I don't think that was true as well with the Thieves Guild, was it? I don't know. Like, I could see a line from Mercer Frey being like, yeah, it's good for business or something, or it should be good for business. Something along those lines. Anyway, who are the Companions? An outsider, eh? Never heard of the Companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. In honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Where do you stand on the war? Kodlak says not to worry about it. I worry that a bunch of snowberries are out there earning glory while we stay out of it. But I will follow the old man's lead as ever. Why did you join the Companions? My mother was a Companion, and her mother, and all the women in my family back to Harati Blackblade. I stayed with my father in the woods until I was old enough for my trial. We hunted everything there was to hunt. Good training. 
Ma didn't live long enough to see me join, but I fight to honor her and all my shield sisters through time. Yeah, that's how I get XP and level up too. I just kill the shit out of just everything around me. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, let's see. How about you? Oh, I'm just a servant, dear. You want to talk to one of the companions, I'm sure. I've Actually, I do want to talk to you. Of your for as long as I can remember. Who are the companions? A good bunch of men and women who make too much a mess, if you ask me. Hmm. Goodbye, dear. What's with all the, like, suspicious fucking, like, caretakers here and in the Jarl's Keep or whatever, right? The Jarl's Great Hall? Because isn't there another, like, kindly old lady who's just like, Oh dear, I don't really do anything around here. I just clean up after the mess and hoo, 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 they sure do make a lot of them these days. I'm just a kind old lady. <gasps> right? It's so eerie. Like they they're part of some weird clandestine cabal, right? When the hey. Empire surrendered to the old Mary Dominion, they shamed us all. Oh god. We Grey Manes have been feuding with the Battleborns for years. There's no more bitter enemy than an old friend. Who are the companions? No, they used to be something. Nowadays, they just squabble amongst themselves. Oh, hold up. Take my advice and keep <laughs> away. You look too smart to get caught up with this bunch. Yeah, yeah, definitely keep away, just like you. <laughs> you <know? laughs> That's what you're doing here, too, right? That You're being smart? Keeping away from uh, from the companions, just chilling out and eating some of their fucking potatoes. <laughs> why, why, why the fuck did why did you join the companions? Well, when you get to be my age, you don't remember why you did much of anything. What's going on here? Only that it happened. There's nothing wrong with what we're doing. Hang on, who are the companions? Oh, they used to be something. Nowadays, they just squabble amongst themselves. Take my advice and keep away. You look too smart to get caught up with this bunch. I guess you could read read it either way. All right, fair enough. Sure. Uh, your clans used to be friends. Aye, we used to be fast friends. Though it was long ago, we were two of the city's oldest and most respected clans, and we could trace our histories all the way back to Isgrimor's companions. But then Olford got rich and decided he and his kin were too good for us simple, backwards Nord folk. When the troubles began, he took the Empire side. We haven't spoken much since then. Hmm. Man, can you meet them like their ancestors in ESO and they're like best buds? All right, tell me about the Greymanes. Oh, we've got an old saying. Grey Manes have lived in Whiterun since the first snows fell in Skyrim. Well, maybe that's not entirely true, but our clan's got a long and proud history in this old. We respect the old ways, the Nord ways, and the Grey Mane has worked the Skyforge since before the time of my grandfather's father. What about your rivals, the Battleborns? I. They're an old clan like ours, but they cast their lot with the Empire when the uprising began. Olfred Battleborn made his money from farming and got himself some new friends among the Empire's nobles. Now he's in the Emperor's pocket like the rest of them, with no regard for honor and tradition. Hmm, okay. I was done talking anyway. Let's see. How about you, I'd Brill? Be dead if not for Vignar. He took me in and helped me turn my life around. Okay. I had a bad time a few years back, and I turned to drink. But Vignar, he wouldn't let me stay weak. Well, who are the... Oh. There's still the threat of a dragon attack. Why would we say this? What does that have to do with him drinking? There's still the threat of... Yo, by the way, I know you're going through all this, but... Look out! Dragons! And we've done as much as we can to prepare for that. But remember, White Run is home to the Companions. Any dragon that comes here will get more than he's bargained for. I think. Well, who are the Companions? To hear Vignar tell it, 
We're a bunch of layabouts and useless whiners who used to know how to fight. But he thinks everything used to be better. I, for one, would trust any companion with my life. Why did you join them? Oh, I'm not a companion myself. I just helped Vignor. He took me in when I was having a tough time and... Well, I owe him. Hmm. Okay. For how long have you been doing that? Farewell, sir. Okay. Farkas, I guess we'll talk to you. My brother Vilkas is a better talker than me. He should be around someplace. I'm here to help. Who are the companions? The companions are my family. We fight so that other people don't have to. We bring honor and glory to ourselves and each other. Where do you stand on the war? Too confusing for me. Empire, Nords, Talos, who cares? <laughs> Just tell me who needs bludgeoning. Okay. Why did you join the Companions? Vilkas and I have been here since we were little whelps. Our father, Jurgen, raised us here. Even Vigner couldn't remember Companions younger than us. And I don't want to ask Until about joining time. just yet. Okay. Let's see. Make sure we exhaust everybody here. This is a place for warriors, New Blood. What brings you here? Getting hmm? tired of hanging around, what now? talking all day. All Wait, right, who, then. Oh, fuck. How'd you get back there? <laughs> all right. Hey. Oh, it's you. Yep, it's me. Who are the companions? Are you looking to join? I wouldn't get your hopes up. The short answer is, we fight. The long answer is, uh, forget it. You're not worth my time. Well, who's in charge around here? You don't just waddle in here and get to speak to the boss. Who do you think you are? I'm a fucking dragon you don't embarrass yourself, <laughs> I won't stop you. Codlac is the harbinger. He's the closest thing you'll find to a leader around here. Why did you join the companions? So I wouldn't have to answer stupid questions from idiots. Is that why this guy is over here asking you what kind of weapon you prefer? Oh, he's talking to him. <laughs> All right, then. I can get in and out before you have one swing. Took me in and helped me Let's test life. that out sometime. What about you, Athis? And what might you need? Hmm? Who are the companions? Why would you even come to Yorvaska without knowing what we stand for? This is not play acting here. We are the true spirit of Skyrim. Honor is in our blood, death in our hearts. Hmm. If you seek either, you found the right place. Okay. I mean, do do the rest of does the rest of all Skyrim hold them in such regard? Like I know like way back in the day, you know, there was what's his butt and his however so many companions, right? But in this day and age, like people outside of Whiterun, they don't really seem to give too much of a shit like they're not like thinking like, "Oh, hey, who do the companions think should be ruling Skyrim or whatever. Who do they think should be the Jarl here now or whatever, right? Like, they, they're they not exactly, like, the foremost authority on much, right? Most people have the more jaded opinion of, like, yeah, they're crestfallen. They're not what they used to be. Right? That's the correct read on it, correct? I think. Anyway, who's who's in charge around here? Soon enough, it'll be me. Oh, really? In the meanwhile, the Circle handles our daily routine. And Codlack advises them as Harbinger. Well, why did you join? Fortune and glory, friend. Fortune and glory. Okay. All right, then. I haven't seen you before, have I? Have we met? I'm sorry if I've forgotten. I mean, <laughs> you and me both, dude. <laughs> what are you staring at? Hey, who are the companions? We're the best damn fighters in Skyrim. At least, some of us are. Okay, who's in charge? In charge of what? I'm in charge of me, and you're in charge of you. If you're looking to join up, Codlack's the one to be talking to. Why did you join? A man of my station has many debts. I'm not much use of labor or learning, but I can throw a punch with the best of them. The companions let me fight for gold, and so I fight. Hmm, okay. All right, then. Who is this back here? Ah, oh, this is the gray man, dude. Okay. Hope you know how to handle yourself. Let's see. Dead, not for Vignor. He took me in hmm. and helped me turn my life around. Did we speak to everyone? This is a place for warriors, new blood. What brings you here? 
I guess we can ask them probably safely. Have, can I join? Wouldn't have the patience to deal with all the rabble around here. Yo, can I join? We don't just take in any milk drinker who stumbles in. Talk to Codlack if you think you have what it takes to be a companion. Okay. Okay, we could have asked. Time. My brother Vilkas. Can I join? Codlack is the one who figures out who can be a companion. So talk to him. It's out of my hands. All right. All right Isn't there then. someone else we could have asked, like Skewer? I can't keep helping you with everything. You're can I you. join? So you think you have what it takes? Huh. Lucky for you, I'm not the one who makes that decision. Talk to Codlack. Okay. Who knows? Maybe he's in a generous mood. All right, sure. Mm -hmm. Where is Codlack? Let's see. Do we have like a quest to track him down? Let's see here. Is there like a talk to Codlack quest? Yeah, speak with the leader. Okay. We'll untrack this other thing. Good. Okay. Head on over here. Wonderful. Neat. Okay. Into the living quarters. Yeah, didn't we come through here to like steal something at one point? I want to say we did. We didn't miss any other members of the companions, did we? We got to hear all of them before we joined, I think. Hmm. We'll just do a quick once over. Alright. Be careful! Sorry, Rallis, sorry. Oh shit. <laughs> I didn't do it, Rallis. <laughs> I didn't I didn't fucking do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Huh. Alright. Good. Yeah, I think we got it all. But I still hear the call oh. of the blood. We all do. It is our burden to bear. But we can overcome. You have my brother and I, obviously. But I don't know if the rest will go along quite so easily. Leave that to me. Okay. Hey, what's going on Great. with the two of you? Another ambitious visitor. You think you can just wander in here and join us? Didn't I already talk to you? Can I can I join by I the way? I don't know if you're capable, <laughs> and I don't have time to find out. If Codlack will vouch for you, I might have some work you could do. Oh, really? All right. Let's see. Who did we not talk to this guy? Who are the companions? You'll hear some of the brighter faces around here talk about honor and glory. I've got nothing against it, but for me, the promise of coin is what feeds my blade. Wherever someone in Skyrim doesn't feel up to defending their own honor, we'll take up their burden. It's it almost seems condescending when they say it like that, you know. All right. Where do you stand on the war? There are always good reasons to fight. I just wish this war had them. Who cares who worships what dead god? Give me something to make me draw my sword. Why did you join? To hear Farkas tell it. Our father raised us here as happy pups. Running around, biting knees. I love my brother, but his brains are not his strong suit. We were brought here by Jürgen. Whether he was our father or not, I don't care. He left to fight in the Great War and never came back. So he's not my problem anymore. We've been here as long as either of us can remember, though. So try to show some respect. Do we know the fate of this Jürgen? It's not Jürgen the Windcaller, right? I mean, I fuck, I guess it could be. Until next time. Okay. Hey, Codlack. A stranger comes to our hall. Who are you? Your question carries more weight than you may know, newcomer. The sort of thing some of us spend our lives pondering. The difference between a noble band of warriors and a ragged bunch of assassins is as thin as a blade's edge. I try to hold us to the right path. Well, where do you stand on the war? Politics are something best avoided. I prefer more personal confrontations myself. 
Why did you join the Companions? Like most of our band, I found this family after losing my own. I traveled the length and breadth of this land, learning all I could of the sword and the axe. I was just a boy, but I had the fire of a man in my heart. Eventually, my body caught up to my spirit. My predecessor, Azkar, found me in Hammerfell. I was serving as a bodyguard for some weak-necked lord out there. He brought me back here, and I realized that I was actually coming home. I worked to bring honor to this family, and to the family that I lost. For my mother, my father, and my grandfather. For all my S.H.I.E.L.D. siblings. Family and honor. That's what it means to be one of us, boy. Hmm. Alright. Well, Codlack, hold that thought, because hang on, the love dog need some help and or attention <laughs> all right we'll take a quick break right here i'm gonna go like see if the love dog needs to go out or something she's giving me the look and i don't know if you can hear it, but she's also giving me the noise be right back all right and we are back now let's finally join up here a stranger comes to our hall love dog just need to go out and use the restroom all right i would like to join would you now here let me have a look at you Yes, perhaps. A certain strength of spirit. Master, you're not truly considering accepting him. I am nobody's master, Vilkas. And last I checked, we had some empty beds in your Vasker for those with a fire burning in their hearts. Apologies. But perhaps this isn't the time. I've never even heard of this outsider. You haven't heard of me? Sometimes the famous come to us. Sometimes men and women come to us to seek their fame. It makes no difference. What matters is their heart. And their arm. Vilkas, you heard of this? Oh, shall I? <laughs> he just interrupted me. I was about to scream at him for real. <laughs> Did you see me load up the quick save and everything? Okay, uh... You dare question my skill? I can handle myself. I have much to learn. I can handle myself. That may be so. This is Vilkas. He will test your arm. Oh, okay. Vilkas, take him out to the yard and see what he can do. I. Not here. Out in the yard. Come on. All right. Man, I don't. I forgot that you. Uh, you actually went and like trained with this dude. Yo, Codlack, this Vilkas guy can't even get the, out the front fucking door. <laughs> Look at this. He can't even leave the fucking room. My old asshole of a friend is blocking his way. He doesn't even know how to get through. This is the guy? This is the guy who's going to train and test my arm in combat? He can't even get past this old bastard. <laughs> he can't even get by old fucking Rallus Sedaris. Look at him. He's so shy. He can't even ask him to move. Look, he's just a shy little guy. He won't even say, Oh, Rallus, won't you please move for me or something? Fuck, I just run right into Rallus all the time. Here, Vilkas, I'll I'll teach you how to do it. Look at this. Hey, watch it. Look, he loves that. See? <laughs> that's, that's what you gotta do. <laughs> okay. Great. Alright. Oh, I'm just a servant, dear. You want to talk to one of the- Thank God Vilkas didn't spawn down there. There's no way he'd be able to get through a crab, uh, Rallus Sedaris, and an old lady. Holy shit. All three at once? <sighs> okay. There we go. If you wish to hunt with me, your feet need the to be quick and your eyes- The old man said they have a look at you. So... Let's do this. Just have a few swings at me so I can see your form. Don't worry. I can take it. Looks slow to me. All right. <laughs> you know what? Let's use our thing. You can't accidentally kill him, right? He's, like, considered essential. We'll just use... We'll use this. Just to play it safe. Next time won't be so easy. You might just make it. But for now, you're still a whelp to us, new blood. 
So you do what we tell you. Here's my sword. Go take it up to Jorland to have it sharpened. And be careful. It's probably worth more than you are. Okay. <laughs> it's really wild how... Like, they might be the the ones to most reference your your status in the world or lack thereof of any other of the joinable factions and all that is that the case i don't know because isn't it yeah like the the college of winterhold you can just get in the front gate by saying you're like the dragonborn or something right or am i mistaken i might be mistaken in that yeah it's it's a weird it's it's definitely one of the ways in which like the game will show its hand that, yeah, these different quest arcs were in fact written by not the same people, by very different people. Oh, weird. Look at this totally inconspicuous little archway there. <laughs> That's probably nothing. That's probably nothing. All right. Well, when next we come back, I guess we're going to deliver this sword that's probably worth more than I am up there to uh, old Eagle Man himself. I think this will be the first time we've gone up there to see him in this playthrough, despite the fact that I use uh, him in the outro since, like, forever. Anyway, until next time, please take care of each other.